Hello students, today we are going to do some long division and the question we have is 536 divided by 4. Now, I'm going to think of this 536 as sweets. Wow, that's a lot of sweets and I'm going to share it with my four friends. So let me draw my four friends who really, really, really love to eat sweets and I hope they brush their teeth. And now I'm going to put it into a division house, 536 sweets that I'm going to share or split equally between my four friends. Okay, so now first of all, we are going to start with the hundreds. I have five hundreds, five hundreds there. And I'm going five hundreds and I'm going to divide by four. What is five divided by four? Okay, let me write it down for you. 5 divided by 4. Okay, the nearest we can go is 1 and remainder 1. Okay, so we can only give each person 1. So let's see, 1, 1, 100, 1. When I mean 1, I mean 100, yeah? Because we're doing the hundreds place. So I'm going to write 1 here. Each of them gets 100. Now, let me check. How many have I given out? 1, 2, 3, 4. I've given out. 4 times 1, 4 times 1, I've given out 4 hundreds. Now let me subtract to check if I have anything left. I started with 5, I gave away 4, so I still have 100 left. Okay, and you can see that 100 is here. Now what do I do with this 100? I'm going to regroup. So watch carefully. I'm going to change it to become 10 tens. 100 is 10 tens and I have this 3 tens which is here. So now how many tens have I got? Now I have 13. Okay, I have 13 tens. So it's kind of like bringing the 3 down but it's actually regrouping the hundreds and adding the 3 that we already have. So this is 13 tens. So how many tens we got? Remember 13 tens now. 13 divided by 4. Now, what is the closest we can go? The closest is 3 times 4, which is 12, and then I will have remainder 1. Okay, so meaning I can give each of them 3. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy 3. 1, 2, 3. Next guy, 3. 1, 2, 3. This guy, 3 tens, and this guy, 3 tens. Can you see? Then I have one remainder. Okay, so let me write it down. I can give each of them 3. Okay? Meaning, I gave out 4 times 3. I gave out 12 tens. Subtract to check if I have any tens left. I have one ten left. And you can see that one ten here. Now, what should I do with this ten? I will regroup. Okay? One ten is the same as ten ones. Oops. I don't want to carry. Yes, there. Now, I could write 10, but I don't only have 10. Remember, I still have that 6 there. Yeah? So I'm going to bring this down, and instead of just 10, I will have 16 ones. Okay? Can you see 16 ones here? 10 and 6. 10 here and 6 here. Now, 16 divided by 4. How many can I give each person? I can give each person 4 exactly. No remainder. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to give each person 4. 4. 4. 4. And this person 4. Okay. So now if I gave them 4 each, I'm going to write 4 up there. Now, how many did I give them? There are four of them. I gave each of them four. So four times four, I gave out 16 ones. Subtract to check. Do I have any ones left? No. I have given it all out. Okay, so you can see from here that each person gets 134, 134, 134, 134. Okay, so if I have 536 sweets, I split between my four friends. Each of them gets 134.
Now, how do I check my answer? I'm going to take back all the sweets. Okay, I'm going to take back all the sweets. Let me check. Check, check, check. Now, I have one, two, three, four groups of one, three, four. Okay, or I can write it in standard algorithm. I'm going to write one, three, four times four so that I can subtract. 4 times 4, 16, regroup. 3 times 4, 12, plus 1, 13, regroup. 100, 1 times 4, 400 plus 1, 5. Now let's see, have I gotten back, if I check by multiplication, have I gotten back 536? Yes, I have. So that tells me that my answer, each person gets 134, is correct. Now, at any point do you not understand, you can always pause the video and go back and think it through again.